Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Tuesday, May 4th. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, back on the green train, plus 498.50 on the day. So let's go over these. I'll show you what we did. Starting with the mighty 90s, had a small winner in BABA for 95, Facebook for plus 206, MU minus 560, so a little red on the mighty 90s on the day. Uh, did one pairs trade in silver versus gold. Was up early on the trade, but it ended up falling apart, and so I took a loss on that one, minus 156.50. And then on the runners, netted uh, 914. So Airbnb was a nice one for 550, my biggest winner. Facebook plus, uh, plus 206, MU plus 518, and Piton minus 360. So let's take a look at these, starting with the mighty 90s. And uh, the first one was Baba. So on Baba, had this nice flush down, uh, nice spike in volume. So as it was coming down here, got long near the pivot. Uh, pushed a little bit lower, added to it, and we finally got that bounce up here, and I took it off. Now, I didn't um, – actually, I don't think I added to this one. I think I just started my my long right here at the pivot. Uh, I kind of chopped below and then popped back up. I was trying to get out right here after we had a couple green bars, and it flushed pretty quick, so I had a, uh, a little bit better profit, but ended up getting out uh, as, it was, as it was coming down, so I ended up booking uh, a small $95 profit on that one. Facebook, I'm going to go over the, the Mighty 90 as well as the runner because we were kind of doing these, uh, kind of compounded them at the same time. So I had this initial flush lower, had a spike in volume here, so got long in Facebook, uh, came down to this pivot, added to it, and then this volume bar got really big. So we were looking at that as a potential volume, uh, volume runner. So I held, 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 waiting for a pop, finally got it, uh, and so, so, uh, that was kind of the end of the mighty 90, but we also broke through that, that volume bar. And so we were holding, um, the rest looking for a continuation higher. And then when it pulled back, uh, added to it, got a bounce, got out of some here, uh, chopped around, chopped around. And I think I ended up getting out of my last piece down here, but kind of got in and out a couple times here. Uh, when it pulled back, got long here, popped up, got out of some, came back down, got in, got out, got in, got out. And so kind of chopped around, played that really well. Uh, but uh, on this initial flush, t gave back a chunk of it, so only booked book 206 on the Mighty 90, 206 on the runner. So net, net, decent day in Facebook. And then MU, uh, MU was a kind of a similar thing. We had a Mighty 90 on, and then we turned it into a reversal runner. Uh, in this case, uh, MU was flushing down, spike in volume, got long, I think right here. And then we got that big volume bar. And when it pushed up, that was kind of the end of the mighty 90, uh, but it also pushed above that volume bar. So we're looking at it for a continuation higher. Uh, didn't get it. And so we ended up, I think I, I think I ended up cutting out right here. But then I got back in when we had this big volume spike here. And then it pulled back to the pivot, got long, caught a nice bounce, got out of some, kind of chopped around, chopped around, caught another bounce. Uh, and then when it pulled back again, I got in again, chopped around, and caught another bounce. So uh, uh, took a loss on the um, Mighty 90 and then a nice winner on the runner to get most of it back. Net, net, small loser on MU for the day, uh, but not too shabby. And then uh, Airbnb onto the runners. So on Airbnb, this was one that we took, one of our first trades of the day, had a nice spike in volume. Price bounced up. We got short right here and caught this entire flush right here. Didn't even have very big position size on, but booked uh, 550 bucks on that one. Already went over Facebook and MU. And then Piton. Uh, Piton was a little disappointing. I had high hopes for Piton, but uh, and the reason why is because the market was really flushing lower at this point, and, and Piton was just kind of chopping around. And then when the market would bounce a little bit, Piton would really bounce, got really strong. And so when it pushed into positive territory and pulled back to this unchanged mark, that's where I got long. Initially got a great bounce, got out of some up here, but then it just fell apart. And so I ended up closing out of the rest down here and ended up taking a loss on Piton for a uh, net loss of 360. But on the green train, plus 498.50. Uh, so, um, hopefully we can build on that tomorrow. We are streaming tomorrow, which is Wednesday, Thursday off on Friday. And so looking forward to the next couple of days. One thing I am going to be focusing on is, uh, trading day trading less into the afternoon. Uh, you know, I've gotten a bad habit the last few days of, uh, trading a little bit later than I like to, I really feel a lot better. And, um, 
and I think I got get a lot more out of it and usually more profitable if I just get out by about 10 or 10 or 11 a.m. Central Time. So I'm going to be focusing on doing that, you know, straight a little bit later today, holding on to MU and, and, and some different things. So uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be focused on cutting my day trading short. Uh, and I think it helps profitability as well as just overall mental mindset uh, and focus. So that is the plan. Look forward to seeing you all in the live stream room tomorrow. Talk to you then.